What's up everybody, it's Joe from JLW Games Got Nature with another cool video and today I'm playing Game Dev Tycoon, a really cool game that uh, I've seen on Steam and stuff that looks actually kind of cool. So it's a pretty much a simulator for uh, being in a video game company and you actually have to develop games and stuff like that. You start out like in your garage and stuff and you move your way up. So it's actually really kind of cool. So let's get into it. I've played a little bit off screen, but for a little bit, like, I, I haven't touched it that much. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in, to, back in time to start your own very game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. All right. Before you can start your adventure, you have to give your company a name. So what company is our name going to be? I think, you know, our name itself actually works very well. JLW Games. Uh, player name? Hello. Mr. Joe. Alright, we can... Alright, we'll go with the brown hair. And... Let's go with this red shirt. Or burgundy, whatever you'll call it. Go go there. There we go. Unlock hints. Um, since you have played the game before, um, I, uh, nah, we don't need hints. Uh, I kind of know the basics of the game. All right, so here's what we got. We're at our computer, and we're gonna get started. Uh, let's develop a new game. Game number one. You know, let's make a let's make a simulation game because that's what we love to do. All right, so it's like a uh, really early year, so let's call it. What kind of theme? What kind of simulation should we make? Should we make a theme park simulation? Uh, not. Re I want to be separate from like a roller coaster. I wasn't the creator of that stuff, so let's go. Um, coaster. Coaster Thrill Tycoon. There we go. Let's pick the topic. Oh, wait, we can't do That's right. Uh, we can't go. <laughs> we're going to do a different topic. So let's do Airplane Simulator. So we, we'll get into the other stuff later. Airplane Simulator. 1,000. Alright, pick genre. We're going to go ahead and go simulation. And platform. Uh, I guess PC. And uh, total cost, 10K. We have 70K, so let's do this. Oh, we can go 5K, 10K, version 1. Text base or 2D graphics. We're going to definitely go 2D graphics. Start development. So you sit here, and then you can go to the development. I have different div development stages. Uh, story quests. Um, I think we're gonna focus focus mainly on gameplay. Engine needs to be good. There's not much story and quest around to it. Let me make sure that's good. All right. So you have these little bugs that come up. And when the bugs come up, you know, you need to change that. So, development stage two. Uh, dialogues. We're going to turn dialogues down because this is a simulation game. We don't really need dialogues. Level design. And artificial intelligence. What do we want more? Probably level design up a little bit more than artificial intelligence. And dialogues pretty much all the way down. All right. This is going to be an awesome airplane simulator for JLW games all right development stage three world design graphic and sound this one um we do world graphics turn the sound down just a little bit we'll focus more on the graphical aspect of it and design of the worlds I think that's a better idea Cool. All right, gotta wait for the bugs to get out. <clears throat> See if anything last things come up. We'll finish it. 
All right, let's see who the reviews are. So we gained experience. Airplane Simulator 1000. Because I might make a sequel, you know. And let's release the game. Let's see how well it does. Game review. Your first reviews are newly released game. Airplane that came in. All right, let's take a look. On the six shows potential. So not a bad rating. Shows potential. Quirky, but good. Could have been better. Oh, come on. Game here doesn't know what they're talking about. It's a great... Airplane and simulation is a great combination. So for our first game, we got sixes and one seven. Not too bad for our very first game of all time. A newcomer in the game industry just released the first game, Airplane Sim. You received favorable reviews. With such a good start, JLDB games are sure to gain fans quickly. So we have zero fans. Let's see how much Airplane Simulator gives us. Airplane Simulator one sold 2,943 units in its first week on the market. We made it in the charts at number 25. That's a great start. That's an amazing start. Airplane Simulator 1000 was so successful that we have now 11 fans. Ha <laughs> ha. 11 people think we're awesome. It's just like YouTube simulation almost. <laughs> like... I don't know. Now we're up to 24 fans. 32 fans. Alright, while we're doing this, we need to... Uh, we've gained a little bit of more cash. Uh, we can also do some research. A uh, new topic. If we want to. And uh, this is the RP the research that we have right here. Do new topic or custom game engine. We can save up or do the new topic. Let's do the new topic for right now. See what we got. Military, life, martial arts, and transport. Why don't we do a life sim simulation? That'll be cool. Alright, so we're going to research that. Airplane simulator is making us a profit, so that is good. Over 10,000 units sold. Sales record, because it also is the first, you know. Making us lots of money. Monthly cost, you have success to reach a new type of life. All right. We're ready to get on to our next game. Generate game report. I forgot what this does. It's been a couple. Of, oh, it gives you more research. That's right. All right, so we're doing good. Great combination. Uh, airplane simulation, great combination. Engine seems to be quite important for this type of game. So engine, so you get to learn stuff over time. So we need to make sure on our sequel, if we make a sequel, that some of these are a little bit higher. So story quest, not important. And platform PC simulation is great, which I already know that from common sense. So if you have knowledge in video games, it should be pretty good. So let's go ahead and get into a life simulation game. Let's call it Life um, Life Tycoon. <laughs> so we do Life, pick genre. I'm going to do simulation again. I think it was a. I actually heard that doing multiple back to back same simulation stuff will make, you, make it not as good, but we're going to keep it on that. PC. Let's go 15K. We're going to do 2D graphics again. It is now off the market. It sold 12,538 units, uh, generating 87,796 in sales. That's awesome. All right, development. So, in simulation games, engine is very important. So, we'll keep that down. We'll keep quest down. And we'll make sure the engine it dominates in that aspect. Now the governor is steadily outselling competitors in PC sector. Consumers per I love how they got um, real life stuff over time that comes out, you know, like uh, 
But not the same names, though. It's kind of cool. Okay. Getting the research in. Alright, so dialogues don't need to be real high. At least I don't think so. Or is it just a smidge? Level design and... Artificial intelligence. We'll keep that about the same. I think that hopefully this one will do a little bit better than our first game. That's what I'm hoping. Alright, um, development stage 3. Life Tycoon. World design. Was it world design that's really... I think it was graphics, wasn't it? That was really important. So I'll make sure it's a little bit higher. What we get, you gotta experiment. As long as we make profits, it will be good. Alright, get those bugs out. Wait for it. Japanese kind of... Nin Ninvento is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. <laughs> Arcade game. Dinky King. Dinky King. <laughs> Many industry have sort of doubt that the home gaming consoles will take off, but we are eager to see what <laughs> it does. It does, it does. Okay, I think we're good with this game. Let's finish it up. And we gained experience with new record on technology. I think it is. Leveling up ourself. JLW Games is starting to take off with its second game about to release. We'll see how Life Tycoon works. First reviews are in for the newly released game, Tycoon. Hey man, let's take a look. Will it be higher or lower? A six, again. Shows potential. Same guys. Six. I like it. Can we do something else? Five. They shouldn't forget about sound. Come on. Nice experience. So overall, this one wasn't actually worse in reviews by just one. Interesting, but we'll see how it does in sales. Alright, 20 fans gained. We're still in the profits, so we're doing good. All right, we should research some stuff. Let's generate some game reports Reports on Life Tycoon, which I think it's going to outsell the first game, actually. Our post-release timeline is complete, and we got the following. Life and simulation, great combination, artificial intention. Artificial intelligence is very important. Okay, I gotta remember that. Invento has confirmed recent rumors and announced their plans to release a new gaming home console called TESS early next year. The console features cartridge-based games and, uh, wow, and a controller. Okay. Alright, let's make sure we research. Uh, custom game en engine is very close. A new Wild West. I'll kind of, we got to make a different type of game, I think. So let's do... Hmm, what kind of game? Should we do military? Let's do military. Start the research on that. We'll get that custom game in, uh, engine hopefully soon. So you can see our cash has gone up quite a bit. And there we go, Life Tycoon is now off the market, sold 15,988 units, and generated a lot more in sales, which is awesome, than the last game here. Military, go. Sweet. Alright. Let's get into a new game, a third game, let's pick the topic, military. Genre, military would probably go good with either strategy or action. All right, let's go action. The G64, or just PC. We're, I think we're gonna keep PG, or 
PC going. And this is a military action PC game. Let's call it... Let's call it Battle Zone. I don't know. <laughs> we gotta create something else. Battle Zone. Start development. Alright. Alright, so Battle Zone, I think the gameplay is important. Story and quests will be pretty important as well. I think we can take the engine down just a smidge. This one's actually really hard to figure out. Let's keep it pretty even between the three. All right, we'll get on to the next one. Monthly costs. All right, battle zone, artificial intelligence, I think would be good. And dialogue's not as important. But we still want some dialogues. There we go. All right, dialogues. I'm curious of how this game will turn out. All right, so uh, let's turn the sound up a little bit. Graphics up, and this one's always tough. I'm gonna keep it even this time. Pretty even on most of the part for the most part on this one. New game platform tests and Vintio. We'll have to make a game for that. Most definitely. All right, let's finish this up. Get rid of those bugs. Guys, you want to make sure he's finished. Hey, right, he's done. He's done. Let's go. Battle zone is ready. I like this music a little bit. World design. Alright, so we're leveling up in some places. Really cool. And let's release the game. Battle Zone. A military based game. Alright. Let's see how the reviews go on this one. A five. I have seen better. That's terrible. Seven. Military action is a great combination. C, informed gamer know what they're talking about. I like it, Game Hero. Five, it has its moments. So nothing so great. I mean, they don't like me. They don't like me. I think I went too conservative. Hi there. I just, I'm impressed by your talent. I'm in the contracting business. We could use skills like yours. If you're ever short on cash, just let me know and we'll see if we have some work for you. Jason. All right, Jason. Okay. Alright, the biggest thing is we make profits, we'll be good. And we're making some pretty decent profits. Let's generate a game report on Battle Zone. Alright, if we can get research up to 50 and get that custom thing. Post is complete and we got that. Right. Military and action is a great combination. Alright. Story and quest seems to not be important for this type of game. Okay, so that's a mistake we made. Platform genres, action, overall good. Not great, but good. Alright, so PC action is a good thing. The cool thing is you learn stuff over the thing. So we can find contract work. Our staff needs to be taught how to use these minor technologies. So, I will just do that for whatever. Alright, get research up to 50. That's what I want to do. Alright, so it didn't do too bad. It made us a profit on our last game. 19k to your account. Sweet! All right, cool. So we're making money. I want that custom engine. So let's develop a new game. Uh, just a quick one. All right, let's do... Uh, 
All right, what can we do? We can do surgery. Do another simulation. Another, we're going to be known for simulation games. Hospital Tycoon. I want to do the test, but we're going to do PC f for right now. 2D graphics. All right, so for this one, engine's important. Story and quests can go down. This will be successful. Hospital Tycoon, I know it will be. As we work on our fourth game. Dialogue's not important. Artificial intelligence is. At least I think. I hope so. I hope I'm not making a terrible mistake. Alright, sound. Turn down just a little bit. I think world design will be important. Make sure everything's where it needs to be. Alright, after this, I think this will be our last game for this episode. The Surgery Simulation. Massive success. Alright, we gotta make our game next for that. See how he's doing? Design. More design. He's done. Alright, here we go. Let's see how Hospital Tycoon does. Level 2 gameplay. Artificial intelligence level up. World design level up. Joe level up. <laughs> Alright, the first reviews are in. Let's see how Hospital Tycoon did. And... An 8 yes by Star Games. And another 8, love it, by Informed Gamer. This is the best game yet for us. An 8, all 8's across the board, we'll see what the last one is. A 7, enjoyable, almost 8 all across the board, so this will definitely probably be our most successful game yet. And we'll see how it works. Alright, generate game report. Always do that to get a little extra research. Look at that. And we got enough for the custom. I think we'll do the custom engine for the next game. Surgery simulation, great combination. Engine seems to be quite important for this type of game. So engine important. World design seems not to be important. So not important for this type of game. So we know that. All right, it's time to do some research on a custom game in our engine, which will help for our next game. And we're getting rich off of Hospital Tycoon. All right. Hospital Tycoon is our best game yet. Over 300K now. We started at 70. We're doing good. I'm especially like game. More platform again. More popular with the younger gamers. Recent studies suggest that the increasing variety of gaming devices this is also creates a market for more specialized games. Some platforms become more popular with younger gamers, while others cater for more mature age groups. Okay, as more and more developers enter the market, expect developers to focus their games on specific age groups to make, it re make an impact. New research available, target audience. All right. Let's see if we have enough to actually research that. Don't forget creating custom engines. This will improve your games a lot. You can create your custom engine through action menu once you, okay? All right, custom game engine, engine and uh, game tutorials. Okay, let's do research, and we can do uh, target audience. I think we have enough. Yes, we do. This next game is uh, we want to make sure it's big. It's got to be. It's got to be top notch. It's sold twenty nine thousand one hundred thirty one units and generating two hundred three thousand nine hundred fifty two in sales. That's awesome. Hospital Tycoon was a huge success. All right, so we got. Following the massive success of the test console, there are no rumors that Vina, another Japanese company, is planning to release a home gaming site of their own. Okay. Alright, so. It's time to develop a new game. 
and I will come back to this when we come back. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Game Dev Dive Coon. Let me know if you want to see more. Hit that like button if you like the video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day and an even cooler tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. And goodbye.